Hello friends, this is Shipra Garwan from Just Tutors. So today we are going to learn about some natural phenomenon. So these are the topics and the objectives that we are going to cover in today's lesson. First one, we are going to learn about natural phenomena such as lightning and the earthquake. Then we'll see that how they can be destructive. And then we will learn about what are the preventive measures we have to take care of while they are causing destruction so let's get started so first one is lightning so lightning we know that occurs while we are having a rainy day in the surrounding so lightning is similar to the spark that we see in the loose sockets but it's basically on a large scale so lightning is a kind of an electric spark that happens on a large scale in the sky we can say that lightning is observed as a bright streak of light under a thunderstorm so it is always accompanied by the sound of thunder as well so lightning is caused by the collection of charges in the clouds so let's learn more about that so lightning is related to the electric charge so charges are the things that we gain when you rub two things together as you can see in this picture when you are rubbing a glass rod with a silk cloth so glass rod gains a positive charge and the silk cloth gains a negative charge so there are many examples that you can try at your home as well like rubbing a plastic ruler with your hair so while you rub that your hair and the plastic ruler would get a charge and they will attract a small pieces of paper so this shows that while you rub two things you get and gain a charge so there are two types of charges first one is positive charge and the second is the negative charge and their interaction is basically while you put up one positive and one negative charge they attract each other while you put two positive or two negative together they will repel each other as you can see here so these are the properties that we should remember or you can try that and when they move when these charges move they initiate the electric current so electric current in a circuit is nothing but the motion of the electric charges now to measure these charges we have an electroscope so that shows that there is a presence of charge in an object so while the object is being charged as you can see a metal conductor electric charge can be transmitted from one charged object to the other and this has been tested by this electroscope here so when a charged object loses its charge it, this has been showed like this that we see it as discharged and this is the process basically is used in an earthing process An earthing process is a process where we transfer charge from a charged object to the earth like this is a process we use in the building so to avoid the thunderstorm or the lightning storm to affect our building and the charge is been transferred into the earth now let's understand how lightning happens so during the thunderstorm the air current move upwards while the water droplets come downwards so this movement takes place at very fast pace and it results in the separation of the charges in the clouds so the positive charges collect at the top of the earth surface while the negative charge has been collected at the cloud surface and this happens at simultaneously so this and this results into lightning as the clouds are not able to hold such a, a high amount of charge and this result into electric charge transferred to the ground and it appears at a bright streak of light across a sky for a few seconds and this lightning can damage houses and the trees and it can also kill the animals as well sometimes people so we have to take care of some measures to avoid these things what you can do you can avoid the umbrella with a metal rod as it can conduct the electricity you can avoid the open places 
you can avoid taking shower use your phone as this can have attract the lightning effect and can cause harm to your body you can hide under the short trees as they are less prone to lightning see so these are the small measures that you can take care while you are having the lightning around you so now the next topic that we are going to learn is earthquake and sudden shaking of the earth for a smaller period of time is basically the earthquake and that has been caused due to some plates name as tectonic plates what is tectonic plates that's the crust of the earth is composed some several pieces of land mass is basically a tectonic plates so these are some plates that are around the earth crust and when there is a vibration or when they rub to each other like this one as shown here you get a vibration and that causes the shaking of an earth which results to the damage to our buildings damage to our properties so we have some fault zones in our country that's been very prone to the earthquake like the black one are the very high prone area while the red one is quite less than that so these are all the earthquake prone areas as you can see here so damages due to earthquake can be collapsing of a man made structures earthquake is can result to tsunami as well which can cause a large scale damage and to measure all these earthquake we have two scales that is richter scale and seismograph so these two scales measure the earthquake while the richter scale use the logarithmic scale and seismograph is a machine that is been having the oscillator here as you can see which shows the waves like this so if your machine is showing a high waves like this that shows that you are going to have an high earthquake now what are the protection against earthquake you can take care so for making the building earthquake proof engineer and architect should be consulted one should hide under a table as you can see here and lightweight material should be used for making the earthquake people should be made to practice drills for the earthquake in the schools and offices so in the case of emergency you can take care of that now after this lesson we have some practice question you can try all of these questions you can pause the video so like charges always like charges always repel each other and unlike charges always attract each other and how do we measure the intensity of the earthquake we measure them using the richter scale or the seismograph and the unit they can be the magnitude over there and for some measures for the lightning and the earthquake we have already discussed so while we have the lightning try to avoid the open places and during the earthquake hide under the table like that so thanks for watching this video for more videos you can visit justtutors.com thank you